Okay, so let's try again and see what happens. We gotta shoot these bits again, I guess. Looks like they've come back for whatever reason. Frickin' oh, also the mechs have come back. It's a bit annoying. There you go. Oh my god, stop it. Don't you have any friends? Oh my god. Apparently not. It may have been easier to try and take him out using a, you know, a bolt or whatever. Bomb the takedown, dude. Wait, I just didn't die. I don't even know what's happening. What? What the hell? What the hell? Alright, that glitched out entirely. What? Oh my god. Ha! I managed to kill the game. What is going on? This is hilarious. Okay. But I can't swing my weapon, and I also can't get my gun out. If I can jump over there, I can suicide. Let's see what these guys are. These guys aren't doing anything. Okay. <laughs> and I killed the game. Maybe if I press start and resume. No? Anything? Anyway here. Alright, I guess we have to restart from the last checkpoint. <laughs> okay. I don't know how I managed to break the game, but there you go. And we're writing for three... Three frames a second to the final. Jesus. Whenever I seem to start recording, the frame rate just dies. I don't know I don't know why, but it seems to be that way. It's really annoying. Okay. What the hell? Oh, God. Hit the guy with the frickin'... Hit this guy. Hit the guy that blows up. Alright, take him down. I just realised this check one is actually further back than we were a second ago. That's kind of annoying. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh my god, how far back has it taken me? Are you serious? Jesus, that glitch was horrible. Oh my. Okay. Well, that's not fun at all. I hate replaying games. For this oh my god. Well, that sucks. Like, honestly, this is so far back. We have to do everything again. Are you serious? Oh my god. You know, that's... Like, it literally... I don't want to do it again. I guess we know it's done. But what? I mean, I just wasted the last 10 minutes of my life. For the freaking glitch. Are you serious? Oh. I'm literally crying right now. There are tears rolling down my face. Tears of lost time. Yeah, yeah, we know what's happening. You can't even skip the things either. Oh, oh. Well, I hope you don't mind watching the Deja Vu show. I, I can't, but it's fucking annoying. Like, I was thinking I could finish the game this episode, but not that I know how long it is, but I think it's not too much left. There. But no, apparently I can't because they freaking made me fight the whole thing again. You'd think if you died, that would be a checkpoint, right? But no, no. Well, that would be too logical. At least you know I have to run to the left anyway. Yeah, I want to pull this thing. Oh, what the hell? Oh, good. It pushed me into the laser beam and got me killed. Yay. Yay. Fun game. Yay. Yay. It's not like I even... <sighs> Like, I could stop now, I might stop now, but like, the, the fact of the matter is I still have to get back to the same point, so even if I'm not playing it for you guys, I'm still playing it myself, which is just worse than what I really want to do. But I guess we'll have to do that, so I'll give it a break and I'll be playing it again. Really, I'm not happy with that, that is just, that is retarded. I was like, oh, it glitched out, how annoying. Uh, so at least I can just restart from that point again. It's not like I got very fast since I last died. But if it's gonna, you know, put me all the way back here, then of course I don't want to do that. It's so dumb. What kind of ridiculous checkpoint is it? I wasn't, I wasn't like I could get killed by the mechs either, because they weren't attacking me. It was just, quite frankly, I couldn't do anything. Right, we're waiting for Trip to tell us we need the bomb, I guess. I'm so disappointed. I really am. Set it. Turn the valve. You know what, let's just play it again. Let's see if we can do it quicker this time. It's really annoying you can't cut the cuts. You can't skip the cuts. But I'm kind of disappointed. Shoot it with your staff. Yeah, I just did that, dude. 
one step ahead of you. So as if I've done this before. I need to get higher up. Trip, help me out. Yep. Yes, there is. Like, even that. Like, how is that not a checkpoint when you die up there? And it, oh man. I guess it kind of makes sense because if you were to like quit, it will probably take you back there. And that's a better place than going back from you know halfway up a fight or something. But it's still really annoying. In fact, it's, it's more than really annoying. It's incredibly annoying. It's also dull because it's it's like I achieved everything, but then I got ripped out of it because you know, the game is stupid. It's not like I even closed the, my computer or anything, it just, it literally glitched because I was too near to the edge or something, I don't really know. This thing is so loud as well. Really annoyingly loud. It's so much louder than everything else, it's just there to like rip my ears to shreds. I didn't complain before. I just complaining. This is going to be a super complaint show because freaking I have to do the same thing twice. Alright, we won't stand there because we'll wait for Trip to stay in. It ain't giving up! Why is there no way to skip this? That was mega dumb. Right. We get, oh, okay, we're gonna get attacked first. You, you saw that coming. Ow. Screw you. If I glitch again, I'll be so upset. I don't think I can push this car. Oh, I actually did hit him. Stop it. Don't even try it. Can I freaking turn the up? Oh my god. Where did you come from? Don't push me in the laser, I'd be so sad. Oh god, no, no, no. I thought that was a laser for a second, I was really upset. Don't do it, dude. If you kill me, I will be mega upset. Mega is a, is a lot upset. There you go, take it down. And I get my thing. And now hopefully I can turn the thing. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I hit it again with the burning fuel. One step ahead of you, Trip. I can't believe it took me like 15 minutes back, but it's so annoying. But we'll get over it, we'll take out the Scorpion Man and then see what happens. It's just, the, the loudness of it is really annoying, I, I'm not gonna lie. Man, are you telling me I gotta go back up there? Yeah, you do. I love how Triff has no words of encouragement, she's like, yes, get on with it, hurry up. I gotta take this guy out first. Well. Same as last time, actually. We took him out exactly the same way as well, which is pretty funny. Across we go. Daisy. Right, hopefully, we can actually get down next time, though. That was the hardest bit, to be honest. Alright, let's try aiming this thing. I'm trying to use a mouse is actually suddenly difficult. Interesting. I don't think it's very happy about being shot at, to be honest. Alright, oh, there we go. Let's climb down. Look at this mouth, though. Like, who designed. Oh, wow. I climbed halfway down during the cutscene. That's cool. Oh, no, no, no. Don't go that way. Jesus, monkey. Come on, monkey. 
Daisy. Oh, that's the wrong way. Grab some help. I assume some mechs will come and fight us. I don't really remember. I think you have to shoot off his leg now, don't you? Nah, it's coming back, dude. Deja vu. basically where we were at the beginning, so I guess we've accomplished some things, just not an awful lot. Oh no, we haven't accomplished anything, what am I saying? Take this guy out. Hopefully we don't glitch out this time, but that'll be real nice. Hit me. Ow. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Got his freaking shield back, are you serious? Kill him. There we go. Don't glitch out! Please, game! Yeah, game, you did it. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Alright, yeah, this is exactly where we were. Okay. This is when the guy's gonna appear and ruin our day. Go, go, go. How do I even get down there? How do I get down there? What the heck? Maybe I went too far. Huh. I probably need some ammo actually, thinking about it. Let's grab some quickly. Oh. I imagine that's the side then. Oh, I won't jump Where he's laser beaming. Yeah, there you go. Jump on there. Down we go. Laser beam is like an extra hint. Down, dude. Alright, we're actually making progress now. Yay. Yay for us. Got that. Okay. Should be shooting. I need to get back up before I can do any of that though. I'm on my way. Yeah, you can do some shooting too. I'm pretty sure it's like it's not a one man job, but okay. Apparently this is the one. Oh my god. Oh he killed me! Ah, I had no health. Please, please don't make me do all that again. Let's see what the loading screen puts us. Oh of course it made me do it all frickin' again. Are you serious? Frickin' What? I'm so just like I'm so done with this. Ow! Go get some friends. Oh my goodness! Oh no, look, we're gonna get lazy beam if we stay on this side. Never a good idea, really. Like, one on one, like I said, these things are too tough. Just annoying. Just annoying. Right, let's grab the health, and then we have to do the climbing again, and then we have to listen to Trip be like, Now we can save his primary weapon! Do some crap! We'll be like, oh, great. Thanks, Trip. Yeah, we're jumping down here. Oh, that leads me. Some headway, surely. We should disable its primary weapon. This is our chance. Shoot the tail. Yeah, I, I, I know where its primary weapon is, dude. 
Ugly, the slaver's headband is incredibly useful. Even if we're using it as some kind of weird sex toy or whatever we're doing. I don't know. Doesn't shoot me. Where are your friends? Oh my god, I just shooting off a random direction. Oh my god. So am I, though. Ow! Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right, bitch. Don't mess with a monkey. Don't mess with a monkey. Alright, just shield constantly. Frickin' die. Dead. Nice. Don't mess with the monkeys. What, that hit it? Oh my god, the shooting is hard. I have no ammo. God damn. God freaking damn. Apparently the shooting's real hard. Alright, okay. I think it's a decent button. Come on! Alright, that got it, apparently. I can't see it now. I don't think there's any way I can get this set up. Gotta check where it's shooting, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't even see the thing to shoot. Got it, alright. Yeah, it gets rid of his tail, I suppose. Oh, good! Yay! What are we gonna do? Shoot it more, I guess. Beat it up now. This. I am gonna finish this. All right, See that gun on its tail. I'm gonna rip it off. Then I'm gonna blow its freaking brains out. Yeah, blow its freaking brains out. All right, how do we do that then? Well, don't get shot to begin with. Go. Get out of there. Oof, that was close. Now, oh. wait, Major. After 20 minutes, we finally beaten that boss. Not God damn. Quite, I'm afraid. Five more. Are you serious? Big one destroyed. Shields at four percent. We got no chance. What are we gonna do? I have one last plan. What would happen if I rerouted all weapons power to the engine? The whole thing would blow up. Take a monkey. It's the only way. It's it's not the only way. You have to be clear of the blast radius. Monkey! Do it! Do it now! We no, have to no, no, no! What a hero! Why did Pixie just leave as well? Is that a big is that a deal? Is that a hard thing to do? I mean, he's slow and fat, so maybe he can't do it, I don't know. Pixie, no! I don't really like you anyway. Let's just let it play out. but I'm sure he's fine. Smoky Bacon, wow. Epilogue, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess we really are near the end of this game. Uh, we seriously could have finished it if we, uh, you know, if we hadn't freaking had to do the whole thing again. But, oh, well, I guess that's how it is.
Is this all going to be cutscenes at the end, or are we actually going to have to do anything? It may well just be cutscenes. There's a lot of people here. us enslaving us I have enslaved no one I rescue people from the wasteland I give them life you give them life what do you mean you do not understand what pyramid is I can explain pyramid is the memories of one man who lived before the war we store his memories of the world that once was. I am Pyramid. I am that man. But I am more than a memory. I am more than an archive. I am... an ark. These pictures... That's what I've been seeing, through the headband. You are seeing the world that they share with me. They are not slaves. They are citizens. They have jobs. They have marriages. They bring up their children. Their children go to schools. You have no schools. You have mechs. Your world is a wasteland in which you fight to survive. Pyramid is a world in which you can live. But you are destroying this world for the sake of the old one. See for yourself. See what they have before you take it away. Go on. Go on. Put on the mask. Monkey. Just wait. Trust me. Oh god, is he gonna have a complete corpse for a face? No, no, he's just an old man.
Did I do the right thing? Interesting. What a way to end. Yeah, I guess it's a moral question to end the game. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. I would say she did the right thing. I th like by the sounds of it, everyone is living that one guy's life, which oh, that's kind of creepy, really. I mean, basically, he's sharing all his memories with them, right? So I guess everyone's marrying his wife or whatever. I don't really understand. Anyway, let's talk about the game, like I like we always do. So, thank you very much for joining me, but as I should say, I should talk about the game. So what do I think of Insane? I thought, as a game, as a whole, it was fantastic. I really like the colourful art style and everything, so let's talk about the gameplay to begin with. So obviously, the gameplay is incredibly simple and somewhat stylized, I suppose you could say. Climbing is incredibly simply point in a direction and press the A button, and combat was more or less the same thing. But that was okay. The simplicity of it made it alright, and then they mixed it up quite a lot with lots of shooting bits, lots of melee bits and all that kind of stuff which I thought was fun but I honestly didn't didn't feel like you know didn't feel it was dragging out at all uh, maybe if it was, the game was a bit longer I mean the game was kind of on the short side I suppose maybe in that case we would have got a little bit dull and then we may have needed something to you know relight that spark but otherwise I thought the gameplay was very very good story wise obviously the story wasn't really spoon fed to you you were seeing these messages these images for a long time and kind of trying to piece together what has happened. I mean, they never really did tell you what happened. You, you know there was some kind of war and that ended the world. Now, whether that was the nuclear war or just simply a lot of humanity was wiped out during this war or whatever, you don't really know. You also don't really know the origins of mechs and all that kind of stuff. Especially a pyramid don't seem to be the ones that made them to begin with. Or are they? We weren't really, that wasn't ever really explained, which I feel like they could have gone into more detail about. We could have found out more about pre-war and what actually happened to cause the wasteland to come too. But, you know, the adventures of Monkey and Trip weren't necessarily required, that wasn't required to explain their story. Their story was all about surviving in such a wasteland. And I thought that was cool. Like I said, I wasn't really sure about mechs and animals and what the distinction was, but that was fine. And I, I did, I did enjoy it, I really did. There were very, very few people in it. There were four people in it, and two of them ended up dead. Yeah, that, that says a lot. But I guess there were more at the beginning when you had another slave ship. I guess we were being taken to Pyramid as well to be plugged in and all that stuff. Which then begs the question as to why a lot of Trip City was burnt and killed to the ground. But I guess that's a another question that we can't answer. I ma imagine they tried to fight back or something. I still feel like they shouldn't have been killed, especially if Mr. Pyramid wanted to, you know, give them his memories and make them feel okay, save them from the wasteland, as he says. That, you know, you can never save people by cap capturing them, by keeping them captive. You have to let them live their own lives. You've got to do that kind of thing. Graphics, like I said, I, I really like the colourful graphic style. I think if you make a game and then slap on some colourful kind of cartoony graphics, not necessarily cartoony, but cartoonish they're kind of verging on the edge, then that's fantastic. It always makes the game slightly more fun. I feel if you, you try and push for hyper-realism, too much realism, then the game just doesn't work so well. So I really like the colourful art scheme. I really like the way it was working. And those credits were incredibly fast. Jesus. So, what would I say? Would I say buy, buy enslaved? Yes. Absolutely. Get it. No doubt about it. It's so cheap at the moment. And I know whoever made it, Ubisoft, was it? Whoever published, the pu whoever the publisher, if they, they were thinking about making a second one, they're thinking about making it a franchise, but they didn't sell well enough, so maybe if you start picking it up now, we might get a second one, who knows? Till next time then, good night.